Welcome back, everybody, to a game called Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds is a action-adventure game developed by Mobius Digital and published by Annapurnia. Hopefully, uh, pronounce that right. Uh, anyways, this game's kind of like an open-world uh, space exploration. Um, so you're you're on a planet with only 22 minutes before this local sun goes supernova and kills them. Um, you are stuck in a time loop, basically. So every time you die. You respawn back in the starting position and you kind of learn from your mistakes and try to get further and further into the game. A uh, bunch of hidden locations that change the passage of time. Let's see here. Uh, all kinds of different environments. Kind of puzzle solving. It, it seemed pretty fun, so I, I figured I'd try it out and see what we can do on it. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's see what we can learn. Uh, apparently, I'm the newest recruit in their space program, I, I believe. So, there's our pilot back from the pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So, it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly, here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get off this... Ready to get this beautiful beauty off the ground? Can't read right now. It's all fueled up and ready to go. I'm ready if you are. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with the pilot, with a pilot instead of a auto flight system. Speaking of pilots, make sure you, you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down, you hear? Anyways, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Sounds good. I mean, it, it's a beautiful looking game. Beautiful. Hopefully we are running pretty good. Uh, this looks like for you. Micah, hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? Wait, aren't you gonna go? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched in space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just, just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so this, this is probably like a little test to uh, kind of teach you how to fly. So let's see, left is horizontal thrust. Okay, up, down, thrust. Oh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Reset. So now does anything else can... Okay, yeah. Well, we're gonna just wing it, so... Yeah, cool. cool. Way to go, kid. Uh, let's see, who are you? Talk to some more friends. I, I really want to just get into space. Let's just kind of get this, this going. Launch tower. You said the observatory? You probably go into most of these places, can't you? Observatory, here we go. Okay. Dude fishing, observatory, zero G cave. I, I love the art design on this. It looks amazing. Use camera. Oh, okay. Hey, come to say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. You've got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Yeah, that might be a good idea. 
Hey, I thought you, I might see you before this big launch. Never gets nerves getting to the better of you. Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves will, are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero-g cave <laughs> and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't. So long as you're confident you can make, make ship repairs in space. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try that out. Lock on, all right. Mix hold to match velocity. Mm, I kind of get it. Get out of here. All right, up here. Damn, that's disorienting. All right, let's get out of here and go ahead and get these launch codes. We'll just, we'll get to it. Let's just do it. Oh, I hang on. I can take the suit off, can't I? Cool. Alright. So let's, uh, let's go to the observatory. Oh, hell? Oh, okay. This is one of those things. This remarkable intact statue was carved by the Nomai? 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 Ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as a part of their antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. So there seems to be a lot of 
things to explore and research while we're here. Let's see, this is the Hornfells. There he is. There you are. I just finished pre flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a no. No, my translator, too. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should, ha should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Uh, meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I'm going to wing it. Dude, I'm going to wing it. Plan to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar and the Great Outer Wilds venture is tradition, are you? Might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out here. Well then, looks like that's look like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, huh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help with help you with anything. All right, I got the launch codes. Let's go ahead and go back here. I just I mean that was all your, that's what happens when you die I know that for sure you like relive all your memories but it seemed like he just like sucked my brain sucked my memories out oh shit hello the statue looked at me and opened its eyes whoa whoa the statue was doing what so its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing flying things around you mean like a hallucination listen no offense but are you sure you're okay to launch like medically speaking you know what? Don't worry about it. No, that stuff is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfield's tried everything to get the statue op eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to him. Or them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand... Gabro's, you know, Gabro, and maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. I wonder if I could just jump. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, good, we're back. Cool. Alright, here we go. See beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. How do I switch? Oh shit, here we go. Lift off loading camera. Okay, that's cool. Unbuckle view map. Oh shit. Okay. Timber, uh, uh. You are here. 
the Hourglass Twins, Little Hollow, the inter Interloper, Giant's Deep. Now he mentioned something about Giant's Deep, right? Well, okay. R2, hold the lift off. Yo, this is dope. How do I roll? Oh, giant steep's back that way. Oh, autopilot. Oh! Yeah, autopilot was not a good idea. Why is it? Dude, what the fuck? Why is it? It's like sending me. Okay. We're gonna unbuckle. Apparently, do not use autopilot. What else is broken? I think hopefully that was it. It's probably because I wasn't totally in space yet. Now we're in space. Something over there. Giants deep. Yeah, I'm just gonna let autopilot take control. Autopilot complete. All right. Okay, so this is the... I'm probably gonna die on this one. I think this is the planet where... It, um... Oh, there's a fire there. This is the planet where I think a whole entire islands get swept. Oop. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. We made it. Giant steep. Unidentified signal nearby. Aha. Nice to see you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. This first solo mission is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have had some kind of spiritual experience with a rock shaped like a face. Me too. You're saying the statue I brought to the museum started glowing at you? Yeah, sounds about right. One minute and I'm standing on the island, looking at a no man sculpture on the beach, and the next thing I know, it's looking back at me glowing. It replaced everything, like just I've just done, like it's been watching me through my own eyes, you know? And then suddenly it stops and everything's normal again. It didn't seem bad, just weird. Were we the only ones who saw that happen? I tried ra radio radioing Hornfells and asking him about it, but they told me I must have just been nodding off and here and gotten confused. <laughs> then we talked about dreams until Hornfell told me to go refill my oxygen before I talked myself to death. So what's 
So that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage. Let's talk about you, you know? How's space treating you? Well, I almost blew up my damn ship. What are you doing out here? Well, we are... What are any of us doing out here, really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think it's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually... Unusually... Yeah, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. What's up with this planet? Uh, massive, mostly water, no surprise there. Strong current that weighs beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Passive current, computer idea worked. Kind of four islands, including this one. There's also the one with that nomad, nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones, yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in the water. Less likely to kill you. So that's how you survive if you get tossed up. Where's your ship? That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. Eh, that would be pretty nuts. Hope it's not lonely. I say he's been here a while. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, we got tossed in space. He said land in the water. Well, thank god I didn't die. Ghost matter detected nearby. Wow, there's a lot to take in. Okay, let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. Some kind of an island there. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Seems like a this piece of ice. Danger ghost matter. Ghost of matter detected nearby. What the hell is that? Whoa! I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. What's going on? Did I just die? Yep, I died. Okay, I don't know what that was. Okay, so ghost matter is bad. We already got them from the observatory, remember? Hmm. Must have been hailing some fumes, more fumes than I realized. That stuff is potent. Well, if you've got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. Yeah, so nobody remembers. Interesting. Okay, we gotta suit up again. Buckle up. Hold 
Oh, L1 and R to roll. Oh, okay. That, well, that's nice. That, that helps. Down to free look. Cool. Okay. So now, is that a, um... Quick launcher. It's... Somebody's on there. So how do I, um... No, I want the headlights on. How do I... Can't you lock on that? How do I lock on that? X? No. Attention. There we go, that's what I wanted. So this is this is our moon. I think this is a relatively safe location. Ooh, moon gravity. Wow, that would make me sick. Esker, oh, hey, it's you. Ground, con ugh, ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see, actually. I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when the ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's almost it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? What is this place? This is the moon, right? Ah, uh, very funny. Oh, stars above your Sirius, aren't you? <laughs> That's just depressing. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tend to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they used to. Uh, let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Repair. Okay. Seems lonely up here. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Unidentified. Isn't that, uh... Esker. Okay, I identified that. Didn't I not identify the deep world? Or, yeah, whatever. Ocean deep? Let's put that away. Where's my ship at? There we go. Unknown. Did I not... How did I not identify that? Okay, we're gonna have to go back there. error.
Easy there. Uh, I believe that's his ship, isn't it? That's somebody's ship. How did it not register to him? There we go. Identified. Now I want to get out of here before I get swept up in a tornado again. Let's explore this. Look at that landing. Open the hatch. So we got scout launcher, flashlight. Yep, flashlight. Okay. Uh. Okay. It's so weird. Don't I have, um... I thought I had translators or something. Whoa. What do I do? Oh, it's a flashlight. That's pretty far away. I thought I had a translator. Whoa. Oh, okay. Never mind. I can't get up there. That's what you do. <laughs> you can't, you can't really do anything with that. Oh, oh okay, there we go. Uh-huh. Oh shit, it's taking me up. Wicked. Okay, well that's... Yeah, I, uh, no, 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 no. Please stop. Please stop. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, uh-huh. Don't hit that, please. Okay, good. We're good. Do anything with these yet. There we go, translate. Untranslated nomad riding. Oh, there we go. Ten minutes, twenty-seven seconds ago. Long range probe successfully launched from orbital phobe probe cannon. Ship log update. Is there anything else I can read? Doesn't look like it.
Oh, I just don't notice. That's a. Um, that's connected now. No, stop. I'm trying to look over here, man. Shit. Huh. Okay. I can't do anything with those. Go. Okay, ooh. Pick up scroll. Insert scroll. There we go. What is it? We've finished building the final Orville Pro Cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this, this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Our next step will be to send private Privet? Privet up to the Orbital Probe Cannon to install the probe tracking system. Are you doing... Are you going gelatinous on us? Oh god, I couldn't read that for a minute. I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I've ever... What the fuck am I reading? Venerable Brother Avens and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I promise to give Avens and Malo a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Strange. Let's see, what else can we find? That's where we're at. That was... You said there's... Four islands? I think that's what he said. I think he said there's four islands. I'm sure there's different times you have to be here. To find them, though. He's got that. There's, I think that's his ship. Okay, then there's this, which was the... Was this the ghost? I'm a little... I'm on the edge. I don't want to be on the edge. Ghost matter detected nearby. See, I don't know what that is, and that killed me last time, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. Let's just, let's go explore a little bit more in space. Nope, nope. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, that looks safe. That's a fucking black hole. Oops. 
Is there a safe place to land, though? Well, that's about as good as I'm gonna get. That's trippy. Kind of running low on fuel. Oh yeah, where's um? Oh, that's that's Esker. That... Okay, so that's still further away. I don't know what this is then. Ship log updated. There we go. School district. Meltwater district. Eye shrine district. Black hole forge district. This place is ruined. Black hole forge controls. Twin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. Should we obtain it? Same thing. Hmm. It's very strange. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Another core. Ah, shit. Why can't I get up here? There we go. I feel strange trying to recreate Anana's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his apprentice and for the black hole forge to be in my care not his hypothesis this will always feel strange even though my time with him was short I miss my old mentor I have the chance to try I have the chance to try to have the chance to try is thrilling but I don't want to disappoint everyone I think I can do this and Probably, but what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? I was wrong in volunteering to build this. Damn it, dude, I cannot read. Was I wrong to volunteer in volunteering to build this? I was born in the solar system and never saw Anna's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a large portion that I can consume? Ha. Huh. More than I can chew. Got it. Still, all I can give is my best, and as Ananya would say, should my best prove insufficient, that we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Claire, I have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my own clan. I am not alone. stuff here but it's kind of like stories okay hang on 
ship log updated. Let's go back to the ship. Seven minutes around. Damn it. Let's try to get out of here. Where are we at? We want we want the map, don't we? It's gonna send me to the fucking sun, isn't it? Yeah, don't don't send me in the sun, please. There we go. That, where's it going? Get out of autopilot. This is okay. Here we go. Too slow for it? Let's see if we can land right right on top of that spot. Well, I think I'm going to stop this episode here, and uh, maybe I'll do some more research on this game and try to find some fun stuff. It's pretty cool. It's a lot to take in. Let me know if you guys like it. Uh, maybe I'll play more. I don't know yet. It's definitely different. It's a lot to, a lot to explore, a lot of hidden stuff, and try to figure out how everything works. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, till next time, we'll see you later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Foreign. foreign. Yeah, you see my web, you know it's foreign. I'm so foreign. Hey. Then you see my girl, you know she foreign. I'm in Lauren. Yeah. You been wearing Tommy, got that foreign. You so boring. Ooh. I've been up and working at this foreign. I'm so foreign. foreign. Yeah, you know my web, you know it's foreign. I'm so foreign. Ooh.